In this video, we're going to talk about how to estimate the enthalpy of a reaction using average bond dissociation energies. So let's work on this question. Hydrogen gas reacts with chlorine gas to produce hydrochloric acid. Estimate the enthalpy of formation of one mole of HCl using the average bond dissociation energies listed in the table below. So the first thing we need to do is write a balanced chemical equation. So hydrogen gas reacts with chlorine gas to produce hydrochloric acid. Now to balance it, we need to put a 2. However, we want to estimate the enthalpy of formation of 1 mole of HCl. So therefore, we need to put a 1 in front of hydrochloric acid. And to balance the equations, we need to put 1 half in front of hydrogen gas and chlorine. Now, what you need to understand is that it takes energy to break a bond. If you want to separate the hydrogen atoms within a molecule, you need to put energy to break them apart. And so anytime you're breaking a bond, it's an endothermic process. Energy is absorbed. Likewise, the reverse is true. Anytime a bond is formed, it's an exothermic process. Energy is released. So it turns out that to calculate the enthalpy of this reaction, or at least to estimate it, it's going to be the sum of all the bond energies of the reactants, because to get the reaction going, you need to break the bonds of the reactants. Now this is positive because breaking the bond is endothermic. And then it's going to be minus the sum of all the bond energies of the products. Now this is negative because when a bond forms to produce the product, energy is released. So that's the equation that we have. So for the reactants, we have a hydrogen molecule, so we got to break the hydrogen bond. And we also have to break a chlorine bond. Now we're going to multiply by the coefficients, so that's just a half. Now for the products, we only need to break one hydrochloric acid bond. Now the energy that's required to break an, um, a hydrogen bond is uh, 432. So this is going to be 1 half times 432. And to break a chlorine-chlorine bond, it's 239. To break an HCl bond, it's 427. So all you got to do is plug these values in your calculator, and you're going to get the answer. So let's see what it's going to be. So the answer that I got for this problem is negative 91.5 kilojoules per mole. So that's how you can estimate the enthalpy of this reaction. And so that's it for this problem. Now let's work on another example. Estimate the enthalpy of combustion of methane using the average bond dissociation energies listed below. So we need to write the combustion reaction for methane. Methane is going to react with oxygen gas, and in any combustion reaction, you're going to get carbon dioxide and water. Now we're going to assume that we're dealing with one mole of methane, because that's the best number to choose if we're not given any other number. So therefore, we need to put a 1 in front of CO2. We have four hydrogen atoms on the left, so we've got to put a 2 in front of H2O, and everything is not balanced yet. We have a total of four oxygen atoms on the right side, so we got to put a 2 in front of O2. So now the reaction is balanced. So just like before, we're going to use the same equation. The enthalpy of the reaction is going to be the sum of the bond energies of the reactants minus the sum of the bond energies of the products. So that's not going to change. Now in this problem, we need to draw the Lewis structures of these molecules. So methane, for example, looks like this. There are four carbon-hydrogen bonds. So for the reactant side, I'm going to put four CH bonds. 
Now, O2 looks like this. This is the Lewis structure of oxygen gas. It contains one bond, but that bond is a double bond. And we have two oxygen molecules, so this is going to be two O2 molecules. And then minus the bond energies for the reactants. Carbon dioxide looks like this. So within a single CO2 molecule, there are two carbon-oxygen double bonds. Now water, H2O, looks like this. Each water molecule has two OH bonds, and there's two water molecules. So therefore, there's a total of four OH bonds. So once you determine the number of bonds that are found in every molecule in this reaction, you can now do the calculations. So I'm going to replace CH with the value that corresponds to it, and so that's 413. This is going to be 4 times 413, and then the oxygen-oxygen double bond has an energy value of 495, and then minus the carbon-oxygen value, which is 745, and then the OH value, which is 467. So I'm going to perform the calculations one step at a time for this problem. So 4 times 413, that's 1652. And then 2 times 495, that's 990. Next, we got 2 times 745, which is 1490. And then 4 times 467, which is 1868. So if we add 1652 and 990, this is going to be 2,642. So that's how many kilojoules per mole that we have to put in to break all the bonds of the reactants. And then 1490 plus 1868, that's 3,358. So we have to put in 2,642 kilojoules per mole of energy into the system in order to break the bonds of all of the reactants. And we're going to get back 3,358 kilojoules per mole of energy as the bonds of the products continue to form. And so the net amount that we're getting from the system is negative 716 kilojoules per mole. And so that's how you can estimate the enthalpy of a reaction using the average bond association energies. Let's work on one more example. Estimate the enthalpy of the reaction when one mole of methane reacts with chlorine gas to produce carbon tetrachloride and hydrochloric acid. So let's write a reaction. So we have methane reacting with Cl2 and that's going to produce CCl4 and HCl. So we're dealing with only one mole of methane. To balance the reaction, we need to put a two, actually rather, well first we need to put a four in front of HCl to have four hydrogen atoms. Now we have a total of eight chlorine atoms on the right side, so we need a four in front of Cl2. Now the reaction is balanced. So now we can estimate the enthalpy of the reaction using the fact that the enthalpy of the reaction is the sum of all the bond energies of the reactants minus the sum of all the bond energies of the products. So on a reactant side of the equation we have methane which consists of four carbon hydrogen bonds and chlorine has one single bond between the two chlorine atoms and we have four chlorine atoms on the left side. Now for the products we have four carbon chlorine bonds and also four hydrogen chlorine bonds. So now just plug in the values. So let's replace CH with 413 and the chlorine chlorine bond is 239 and then the carbon chlorine bond that's 339 and the hydrogen chlorine bond is 427. So 
So just like the last problem, we're going to do this one step at a time. So 4 times 4, 13. That's 16, 52. And 4 times 2, 39 is 956. 4 times 3, 39 is 13, 56. And 4 times 4, 27, that's 17, 08. So 1652 plus 956, that's 2608, and 1356 plus 1708 is 3064. So in this reaction, it takes this amount of energy to break all of the bonds of the reactants. And then when the bonds of the products are produced, 3064 kilojoules of heat energy per mole will be released. So the difference between those two values will give us the enthalpy of the reaction, which is negative 456 kilojoules per mole. And that's it for this video.